Congratulations, your edit is complete and it's time to hit render. One gentle click and then it happens. That dreaded message. Insufficient disk space, render failed. Panic floods your body. How could this happen? You just bought another 10 terabyte drive a week ago. There's no way it could be filled already and your client is expecting the video by the end of the day. There isn't a shred of spare disk space in sight. You run to the closet and sift through a mountain of drives so ancient they belong in a museum. Firewire? Can you even get those cables anymore? Half the drives aren't even labeled. You're searching for anything at this point. Nothing. You must now decide. Delete the entire photo album of your sixth grade ski trip or tell the client they need to wait until tomorrow. A few swift clicks and those files are in the bin. Your finger hovers over the empty trash button. A dream? A nightmare? The deadline is only at the end of the week and you breathe a sweet sigh of relief until you realize you're gonna need a bigger boat. Okay, so you found yourself here 12 Reddit threads later looking for the solution that everyone online recommended, a NAS. First of all, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are gonna get you sorted out, but I need you to ask yourself a tough question. Do I need a NAS or am I just a data hoarder? Let's go. Let's start by breaking out our storage needs into three categories, active, nearline, and archival. We can get started with active storage and how a NAS can fulfill those roles. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It's a computer connected to a network that provides access to files to other devices on that network. In most cases, it has multiple drives arranged in a RAID configuration, so the more drives you have, the larger the amount of data you can store and access. A NAS, like the Jellyfish from OWC, is generally easy to set up and appears to the users as a network-mounted volume. It's meant to expand your storage capacity and enable file sharing across an organization. Some users turn to a NAS looking for large, expandable active storage, but fail to take advantage of or have the need for the device's networking capabilities. If you're looking at NAS solutions for capacity alone, you might be better served with a direct attached RAID enclosure like a Thunder Bay with Thunderbolt connectivity. And if you're looking for long-term storage for backup, check out a variety of cloud storage services available for reasonable prices, or you could dive into the world of tape-based storage with LTO. All right, so who does need a NAS? Well, you should consider a NAS if you need to access files from more than one computer. It serves as a shared storage point for multiple users to access and collaborate on files. A NAS enables you to attach multiple workstations, allowing multiple users to complete projects. Need to add an assistant editor? Great. Grab an ethernet cable, connect it to their workstation. Need to hire a colorist? Perfect, plug them in as well. With a Jellyfish Mobile, Tower, or R24, all you need to do is open the included manager software to create a new user and make sure the user downloads the Jellyfish Connect app. That's it, now your team is scaled to meet the needs of your project and you haven't had to physically pass a single drive, transfer any files, or look for any cables. Everyone is working, Stress is down, efficiency is up. Do you feel that? That's as close to nirvana as you're going to get working in this industry. This is where and how a high performance NAS like the Jellyfish fulfills the need for active storage. Multiple users reading and writing large files all at once to deliver a project while eliminating the latency of transferring files and all the other problems and slowdowns that arise with the not so elegant system of handing off hard drives. Okay, so it's the end of your project and it's important to keep all your files available for later access. Whether your client comes back and needs to reuse some footage or they've lost the final video you sent them months ago. This doesn't mean that you need to have it take up precious space on your active storage NAS. We need a backup solution. And this is where nearline and archival storage enter the game. These solutions are usually slower and larger capacity than active storage, meaning you can't necessarily edit in real time from these solutions, but they are great for transferring and storing media at a lower cost. So for most long-term storage applications, things like LTO tape and backup cloud storage are going to be your go-to user-friendly solutions. So do you need a NAS or are you a data hoarder? Well, the first step is admitting you have a problem, and the second is finding a solution that best suits your needs. Today and into the future, a NAS device is a flexible and powerful storage solution that meets the needs of performance, collaboration, and ease of use for users in a networked environment. From everyone here at OWC, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.
Now get out of here, go finish your edit. We're waiting to see what you've been working on.